And look how close it was last year. One point difference after prejudging, and I was not at my best. What's up, guys, and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I'm giving absolutely everything every single day to make that possible. I believe there's a great chance that that can happen. You heard it from Derek Linsford himself. And that look on his face just said it all. That he has been doing everything in his power to be bad in last year and potentially win the Olympia title in four weeks. A big shout out to NPC News Online for conducting this interview with Derek Linsford. So we never really got to hear Derek Linsford speak a lot about Hadi Choban his main rival and his teammate as well. So first of all, the good news is Hadi Chopon and Derek Lansford will be training together. And there is a chance that we might get to see some footage of that as well. So me, Hadi and Hani are gonna be training a couple days together. And the last couple years we've had training sessions and honestly, I think he's a, he's a funny guy. Like so Derek Lansford was asked about Hadi Chopon and you can just see how much respect he has for Hadi. And rightfully so. Hadi is the champion right now. He is one of the hardest working athletes and bodybuilder on the planet. And I think he deserves all the respect in the world. He is deaf as well, so like it's it's hard to kind of... And I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah, it's it's hard to conversate with him, but not really, like because he's so charismatic and, and he, he, has, he usually has a big smile on his face and is always cracking jokes. And So this trio, Hadi, Derek and Hani Rembot, they believe that they will be fighting for the number one and number two spot again this year. It was so close between these two guys at the Olympia last year as well. Only one point separated Hadi and Derek after prejudging. And I think three points at the finals. So putting all that into perspective, I think we can all see where Derek's confidence is coming from. He knows that he is gonna be lights out from the back, especially his back double bicep shot. And I think that is also gonna be the case in the front double bicep as well. So here is what I believe. These four shots. The quarter turn, the front relaxed, the front double bicep and the back double bicep. These shots carry a lot of weight. And here is the reason why. So when all these guys are called out into groups for the initial call outs, the judges ask them to hit these four shots. This is where all the athletes get to make their first impressions. And this is where the judges make their initial assessment on who is gonna be in the first call out. So front double bicep and back double bicep, they carry so much weight initially. So no matter who you are rooting for at this year's Mr. Olympia, Derek Lansford is gonna be extremely hard to beat, especially in these shots, the front relaxed, the front double bicep, and the back double bicep. He's making me better. He's pushing me to fulfill, fulfill my best potential. And uh, so I'm thankful for that. And, um, you know, I, I know I'm gonna be pushing him very hard this year. Next up is Orsa's update next to the German legend and quite possibly the freakiest bodybuilder of all time, Marcus Ruhl. So if we go back and look at the history, the year was 2002 and the competition was the Night of Champions where Marcus showed up like an alien and he looks like he's from another planet. This posing video has been used countless times in so many bodybuilding motivational videos and I'm sure all of the bodybuilding fans have seen this footage. So this is Urs 5 weeks out and there is no surprise that he looks in a top-notch condition. That threw this far out of the show. And that is no surprise because it has always been the same case with him. So looking at his update at 5 weeks out, I wonder how much weight he needs to drop moving forward to make the weight cut off. Because the man is looking huge. Just for a comparison, here is a picture of Urs from the Arnold Classic 2022 peak week. Compare it to the recent one, and you can see everything is bigger, his chest and shoulders are fuller and rounder. And even the bicep peaks which have always been a major weakness for him. And he has always been criticized for that. They also look improved. But he did not post any back shots. That is the area where multiple guys at the Olympia are gonna beat him. But props to him. He truly has evolved in the last one and a half years. So what did you guys think? Who is gonna place ahead at the Olympia this year? Or Ramon. I am actually really excited to see this young man, Mohammed Foda, in the post Olympia tour. As for Hadi Rambot, his coach, he is doing Japan Pro, which is gonna be the last competition of the 2023 season. The only show that he has done after turning pro was Kill Pro Egypt. And although he was in prep last year as well, but he could not make it to the stage first due to an injury and then because of some visa issues. 
So the feedback that was given to him by the judges at the only pro show that he did was to get bigger. So two years in the making and he looks really great. And if he really commits to one of the shows that are lined up after the Olympia, he has got a great shot of doing really well at those shows and possibly win and get his Olympia qualification for next year as well. So the Legion Sports 2023 is going down this weekend and we have an update from Justin Rodriguez. But here is a thing I am more interested in right now. Just look at the caption under his latest post. So this has been missing from him for a long time. He wasn't supposed to lose the New York Pro and the Indy Pro last year. And that is exactly where he lost his confidence. Because the thing is, not only did he lose those shows, but he was fourth and fifth respectively, which wasn't an easy thing to digest, especially after the way he performed at the Arnold Classic and the Boston Pro, where he pushed a prime William Bonnock. So let's hope that his new coach, George Farah, can bring him at his all-time best, because Justin is not an easy athlete to peak. And if he does peak right, he is going to be extremely difficult to beat here. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.